Today I'm going to cover an issue with, with pivot tables and running totals. So here you'll see I've got a running total on profits or losses from different stock trades and these are showing up as not available. And so you might be frustrated to see, okay, why is this happening? So my running total is in here under my value section. If I click on value field settings, show values as, running total in, and I've got my ticker field selected. Now the problem here is my ticker field is not in the rows section. So the pivot table can't, can't reference that. So I could add it in there, click on that, and it's in there. Now the problem with this, however, is it's still not going to be a, a true running total because here you can see this is exactly the same as my profits and losses, right? If I actually wanted to see a running total of, you know, profits and losses um, just based on, let's say, date, then I would actually need to get rid of this ticker and just focus on the dates because the dates are obviously accumulative. It's easy to track and an easy way to do that is if I remove the ticker and then change the value field settings one more time. So I show values based on the entry date, the date of the trade. Now I hit OK. Now you'll see now this is correct because now you'll see that the last number here, 29,130, is the total from here. So now I've got my cumulative value in there. And so, you know, if I were to add that ticker field back in, it's going to mess up that running total. So the key thing to remember with these running totals is you want to keep it as simple as possible. Just have one item here in the row section. Otherwise, it gets uh, difficult for Excel, for Excel to figure out what you're trying to do here because obviously you've got multiple fields in here to try and track a, uh, a running total in there is not is may not be what, what you're expecting the results to be. So it's easier to just remove it and just focus on that that one field, that entry date. You don't necessarily have to have the second one. This is the main profit and loss one I have. But that was just basically to prove that the values were correct. So to run it as cleanly as possible, my suggestion is make sure, obviously, the, the field that you're referencing to it is visible in your pivot table. And two, don't add any extra fields that uh, that you don't need, as, especially in the row section, you want to keep it to to just really ideally one, just so that this pivot table is calculating the the running totals as as accurately as as possible.